real estate, I was afraid to take my first loan when I was 19. It was a $140,000 purchase. It was about a $112,000 loan, 20% down. I was afraid. And as far as like feeling fearful, what's your tactic about anything that may not be going right and fear can easily creep up on you? How do you deal with that for all the people out there that, that may not be doing so well in their businesses and uh, they can start thinking ahead and everything's negative and everything is like fear. Does fear even exist in your world? Yes, but in a respect manner. So it, there's people out there who are lion tamers. They're not afraid of the lion, but they need to respect that lion. Mm -hmm. We power lift and in powerlifting, we are lifting heavy weights. And my mother put it in my head when I was younger, oh, don't lift too heavy, you're gonna break your back. And it's actually, they say squat and, and deadlift. I was able to do a lot of weight, but on, I'm sorry, on deadlift and uh, bench, I was able to do a lot of weight, but on squat, I wasn't. Because of that, the ants she put on my head that you're gonna hurt your back, it didn't make any sense how little I was doing on squat and how much I was doing with squat and, and how much I was doing with bench and deadlift. So where, you eventually learn to change the fear into a respect. Mm -hmm. Where in real estate, I was afraid to take my first loan when I was 19. It was a $140,000 purchase. It was about a $112,000 loan, 20% down. I was afraid. But I learned all the different aspects to, to have a high level of respect for debt and to know how to properly acquire the, 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 the asset without having the debt be so overpowering of me. So how do you not be afraid? Is be knowledgeable about what you're doing. Truly analyze what, what, what's going on. Because the fear in all the scenarios that could possibly go wrong, if they are not checked logically, they're gonna overpower you. Mm -hmm. And the reality is, all of the 99 scenarios that could go wrong are usually unlikely to ever happen. Right. The rarity of that. Example, the tenants are gonna destroy your property. Out of, I've been doing this since uh, with my own money since I was 19, that's 18 years. In 18 years, and for, for a long time, I had about 44 of my own doors. A tenant has only maliciously destroyed the property twice. In 18 years and 44 doors of my own properties. Okay. That number is so small, yeah, so unlikely. Now, what do you learn? Learn how to properly see what tenants are gonna rent from you. Look at, at, at their background, their history. So then you'll know if you're bringing in the right people and it reduces the probability significantly. I'm gonna tell you probably in the last eight years, we haven't had one tenant maliciously break the property or one tenant destroy the property from their dirtiness. Yeah. Like, cause there's a lot of tenants that in my past that we let in that they were just so dirty that the place became wrecked you know right. uh, doesn't take care of their animals and things like that usually the it's again the, the saying is it's not a bad pet it's a bad owner <laughs> is, is, is the reality right the pet didn't choose to just you know leave their feces all over the apartment the owner didn't take the pet out right right <laughs> you know it wasn't you know so you have to be conscious about who you're renting to and, and things like that. So what I'm saying is the fears, they, if you leave them unchecked, they'll go, they'll run rampant. Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is take the fear, take the time and think about it, face your fear and logically assess it. What do I got to do to reduce the probability? And if you do that for, they say tenants, then they say, oh, okay, you have a loan. Was a loan a bad thing? Analyze that. It's not. Tenant is a bad thing? It's not. Tenant actually helps pay my mortgage. Right. You're saying it's negative. It's a positive thing. Loan. I'm like, oh, loans are bad. You're going to go bankrupt. Blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, well, is a loan a bad thing or is it getting a bad loan? Bad. You get a good loan. I'm now leveraging my money five to one. And if it's a first time home buyer, you're leveraging it significantly higher. You're leveraging it like 30 to one. Yeah. So $10,000 down, 30 to one leverage you hold a property for 10 years, it doubles. How much money did you make? Yeah. 30 X on your money. So then there's, um, what else? Uh, breaking of the property. Is, is that a negative thing? 
having to upgrade the unit, it's actually a positive thing because if you can upgrade the unit, you can add more value to the property, make it more efficiency so you can reduce your monthly expenses while increasing the asset value. So you're gonna get more money per month in renting and you're gonna get more money if you sell it or when you refi. So all the things that people say are negative are actually opportunities for us to be successful. Yeah. So if you constantly are in the dark and you think and you hear these noises and you see these things where you're like, oh, I'm uh, in fear. But in reality, when you look at them and shine some light on them, you're like, whoa, this is an opportunity. Right. Right. Everyone's afraid of the lion until they're on your team. Right. <laughs> right? Everyone's yeah. afraid of these things until they're on your side. So you have the opportunity to take all of these fears and put them on your side. Mm -hmm.